Hello everyone. Today um, our backyard is finally started. We had the landscapers here today. I'm gonna give you guys a little tour, but they already started doing our backyard. They moved super fast. Um, and yeah, I'm very, very excited. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys your backyard, kind of show you how everything's coming together. My husband is currently in the garage. You can probably hear him. He is building the garden boxes right now, and they're super easy to put together, and they're gonna look great. They're like a perfect size for the backyard. Um, so yeah, I wanna give you guys a little tour of how those are coming together. Also, I've been doing a little bit of painting today. Here's my painting that I did today. Love how it turned out. I'm just letting it dry, but I think I'm gonna leave all of my other painting supplies out so I can whip out some new artwork, but I love the way this one turned out. When I paint, it's like super therapeutic for me. And so when I'm like in the painting mode, I'm just, I can really crank out a painting and I just love it. So anyways, today's been very relaxing. We're getting a lot done. Um, our kids are at um, my in-laws for a little play date today. So we are gonna finish up some work and we're gonna go buy the stepping stones at Home Depot for our backyard. And then we're gonna pick our kids up. But in the meantime, I do wanna show you guys a little tour of what we got going on. It took, what, like 15 minutes? No, yeah, not even. Is that 10 minutes? Yeah. Single person? Super easy. Do you think it's easier than like doing a DIY, like building it oh, myself? Oh, 100%. Yeah, I mean, that was like, you Yay. pull out the panels, you slide them into slots, screw it in, all the same screws. So this is what the garden mitts look like. I really like the minimal look. Um, they're in a solid pine wood. And then all you do is you put the end post in the corners and then you just drill the screws in. And yeah, that's really it. They're really big, which is perfect for our backyard. <laughs> okay, so okay. here's... <laughs> well, hold on. So the reason why I would move it over is because we're not doing mulch here. We're gonna so move it's the rock all the way up. mulch along the back, yeah. gravel, and then stepping stones. So I would try and make all three even of gravel, gravel, gravel. Gravel. Okay, so maybe scoot these here, go closer. Up against, almost up against the mulch. Okay. So I would, I mean, I know we already had them. I know. But I mean, we can move it over. I mean, I guess we could still. Oh, there's already a bee. No. Oh, so I hate let's bees. Move it, let's move it over to like the black line. I go get our stones, honey bunny. And lunch <laughs> and our kids. And lunch and kids. We got lots to do. Yeah. Good size. I like them. They, they fill in this space. That I like it. Doing. I like it. It's coming together. So right here we're going to be doing our garden beds. This first bed is going to be the vegetables, and I'll give show you guys what my how my seeds are coming along. Um, but here's going to be like the broccoli, zucchini. Um, uh, what else are we growing? Oh, the peppers, whoa, all the whoa. tomatoes in there. And then in this garden bed, we're gonna be doing all the flowers. So this is gonna be flowers, and then this is gonna be vegetables and strawberries and all of that. 
Okay, so I've been growing some seeds. If you guys are new to my channel, I bought a handful of seeds to try out for this spring. I have not gardened outside before, so this is definitely new for me, but I am very proud of how my seeds are coming together. So I wanna give you guys a little peek at my um, soon to be outdoor garden. Okay, so we are in my kid's playroom. It is a complete disaster, you guys. So excuse the mess. But I wanna show you guys what we have growing. Everything's going so good. So right here we have the sweet peas that are growing really well. We also have three different types of tomatoes. And then right here we have the broccoli, which is doing really good. And then right here we have zucchini. I'm not quite sure what a little casualty right here there, but we have the zucchinis growing really nice. We've got a new sprout right here. I'm not quite sure what happened with those three, but I was thinking about putting a new seed in. And then back here we have more tomatoes and then we have our carrots and we also have onion. And then right here we have arugula, which is growing so well. This is the first one to actually sprout and they've just been doing so good and then right here we also have our other beef steak tomatoes so we have three different types of tomatoes and right here we have the peppers but we did have a small casualty this actually spilled all over my floor i bumped it and yeah it went all over so we have a few survivors but the other ones um yeah are lost so i think i'm gonna put some maybe new seeds in I don't know, but yeah, this is what we got growing for our seeds and it just looks so good. I'm very, very excited. So we've been doing a lot of planning for our backyard and since spring is here, the landscapers have already started today and they have already put in the sprinkler system, which is super fast. So they're gonna be doing the gravel um, this, end of the, this end of the week. And so today we have to go and get our stepping stones for the backyard. And I've been using this book, Gardens of the Garden State. I found this at Home Goods or I think it was Amazon. I can't remember, uh, but I have shared it before and I will link it down below. But this book is just full of so many good ideas. I did mark a handful of the ideas that I'm gonna be implementing for our backyard. And so for the backyard, I, I have a few things in mind that I really want to accomplish because we are gonna be using this house as a rental property in the near future. I want this backyard to be low maintenance. Um, I also want to, it to still be beautiful. I don't think low maintenance has to be basic. And so for the backyard, I want to walk you guys through what I'm thinking. So those are the plants that I have for the backyard. Basically, like I said, we're gonna split the backyard in half. One side is gonna be grass for the kids to play and you know play soccer on and just play on so that's going to be grass and then the other half of the backyard is going to be more of like outdoor living so we're going to do gravel we're going to have stepping stones we're also going to have the garden beds which is going to add a lot of color a lot of green and a lot of life to the backyard and it's going to be really fun too to also plant have my kids kind of watch the circle of life with you know gardening and from planting the seeds to harvesting the food so i think that's going to be really fun to do that with my kids I also wanna grow pumpkins as well. That's gonna be really fun for the fall. So I have lots of fun gardening things I wanna do with my little munchkins. So um, yeah, that's kind of the plan for the backyard. We do wanna add a grill. I'm not sure where that's gonna go yet. Um, it may just end up on our little concrete pad, but I don't know, we'll see. So I do wanna show you guys some of my ideas from this book that I do want to implement and kind of show you what inspired me for this backyard. So gardens of the, so this is the book Gardens of the Garden State. There's so many beautiful landscaping ideas. I mean, this is like true talent to like actually know how to put a beautiful like this. I would love to know how to actually like what plants do I need to buy? What do I need to do to make my backyard look like this? But real quick, I want to flip through here. I want to show you guys some of what I feel like I could implement myself something that's a little bit more on the simple side, 
but it still could be really beautiful. So I really love garden beds. So our garden beds are made out of pine, but I like the idea of having a flower bed. So we are gonna be doing a flower bed. And here's a better picture of it too. So I like the cobblestone, but I think we're actually gonna do concrete uh, stepping stones in between. This is this would be rather expensive and we are trying to keep it on a more of an affordable budget. But I do love the idea of the flower beds. So one bed is gonna be a flower bed and we're gonna do stepping stones in between. And I actually found a better picture. So it's gonna be something like this for our gravel area. So we're gonna be doing something very similar to this in between the garden beds and where we're gonna have our outdoor furniture. So it's gonna be half of the backyard is gonna be gravel with stepping stones and then the other half is gonna be grass. And then I really love the look of these hydrangeas. So I think in the front, I do have those black pots. If you guys watched my spring front porch refresh, um, I do have two black pots. I wanna pot some hydrangeas in because the front of our house does get a lot of shade. And so I think the hydrangeas would really thrive in the front of the house. So I am gonna implement some hydrangeas. Um, for the backyard, I'm not going to be doing too many um, flowers um, besides the flower bed. I'm gonna be doing a lot of box wood plants, um, shrubs. Things are gonna be really low in maintenance, but add, that adds a lot of color as well. No, you per okay. I'm just reading currently reading comments about my spring front porch video, and there's a comment. In <laughs> there's a comment in there about how I say reef, but you guys are saying it's reef. We've always pronounced We've it reef, always even said though it's reef. <laughs> I mean, I know how it's spelled. Obviously, it's different than, but I've always said reef. But now knowing that you guys pointed out. It's wreath, right? Wreath. Yep. Yep. Listen, <laughs> no, it's not your bad. It's my bad. I don't know when saying it. So, anyways, I just find some humor in that people love to correct the way I say things. <laughs> I don't. Now I'm embarrassed. That I said wreath, not wreath. <laughs> well, you know, so you guys know what I'm talking about. Look. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, thank it's you okay. guys for pointing out how I say wreath. It's not reef, it's reef. Even though they do sound so similar. It's just the audio. <laughs> yeah, actually, it was the audio. <laughs> Anyways, honey wants uh, honey bunny wants to go get some food yes. before uh, we go to Home Depot and grab our little munchkin. But see, I want to go get sushi. He wants to do a sit down. I want to yes. do a drive through. Where are you feeling? Where would you like to go and eat, sir? Tsunami. Actually, bluefish, but they close in 30 minutes. I don't know if they'll. We should call and see if they'll take us. We could us. do Mobetas. We just had Mobetas. We could do Chick fil A. <laughs> no, we gotta have we some sushi. We eat Chick fil A way too much. Let's have some sushi. We'll be quick. Don't go we won't get down. appetizers. I don't even look like I'm going to sushi. I'm okay. wearing sweatpants and a sweatshirt. Girl, we're good. Let's get some sushi. We'll be quick. I just realized I did not film where we went to eat. <laughs> I need to get better at this vlogging thing. Um, it's this place called Bluefish. It's like sushi, Korean. It's like a Korean place, but they offer sushi there. Yeah, probably one of our favorite spots. They're super good. But since we moved away, we don't have one down by us. But anyways, okay, we are off to Home Depot. We're gonna go get these stones. And I'm very excited. I believe I priced them online and they were $2.18 per paver. So we're just gonna get like 200 of them. Yeah. <laughs> Nervous, are you ready to lift 200 bricks, pavers? How just kidding, we're not gonna get 200. I don't I know. Like, we don't have I enough room for that how, in the car. I, I genuinely don't know how much, how many bricks we should get. I probably should have mapped it out before. No, that's okay. I'm a, I have a good, good, I'm a good guesser. We'll guess. We'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Yes. It'll be fine. Okay. Well, off to Home Depot we go. Those look so heavy. Yeah, we're going to get 200 of them, aren't we? <laughs> I'm pretty sure the back of our car will be like, Dude. I'm sure my back will be thrown out by the time we're done putting them in the car. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Well, yeah, how on earth are we going to secure those? Honey, you have very valid questions. 
We aren't prepared at all. Yes. Yeah, no, we're not prepared one bit for this. We're literally winging it and we're in our palisade. We don't have a truck. We don't have a trailer. We have to get them because the landscaper needs them. Today or tomorrow. This will be interesting. Here are these, which I think that would look nice. I mean, obviously that one's cracked. They're 348s a piece. I mean, I like that better than the cement. What do you think? Mm. Look, it's two ninety eight for a pallet. Oh my gosh. Well, what do you want to do? <laughs> These are the ones that I saw online. Two eighteen a piece. Or do you want the big, bigger ones? Those are three ninety eight. Those are. They look more grand. They do look more grand. Um. Originally, I was thinking about doing those like really nice stepping stones like I showed you guys in the book, but they're just really small. So I think I'm going to end up doing the cement pavers and I still think it would look really nice. There is this terracotta color, which I think I like more than the gray cement. Let me show you guys. Have this color or they have the gray. I'm leaning more toward the, towards this one because the gravel, I think it would look really cute between the gravel. And the gray is just, I mean, it's gray, kind of basic. So I'm thinking, I mean, these are really affordable. 218, they're not, let's see, these are 218 a piece and then these are 98 cents a piece, which would be much more affordable than the other options. So I think I'm gonna go with the squares in between the beds and the squares to go in between the cobblestone and the grass. Yeah, that's, that's at least, what, <clears throat> that's what I'm thinking. I think it's gonna look cute in my head. I have it pictured out. I just, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do as many pavers as I was hoping because it's gonna be really expensive. And because we're gonna use this house as a rental in the very near future, I don't wanna put like a crazy amount of money into pavers. So we're still gonna make it look cute, but we're just gonna we're gonna keep to a budget, people. You're doing great, honey. <laughs> <laughs> we're almost there. My back. <laughs> <laughs> we're almost there. I actually really love it's almost not like a terracotta, it's like almost like a brown, light brown. Probably terracotta. It'll I like good. it. Okay, do you think this is enough? We'll just do two more. Okay. Oh, well, how many do we Wait, have? Wait, we should probably count. <laughs> okay, how many are we at? I don't know. Two, four, six, eight. Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got the pavers. We got, ended up getting 40 of them. I think that would be plenty for what we're needing. And, oh, we forgot to look at the trees. Um, That's good. Next time next time um but our total was about 93 dollars so not bad still pretty affordable i feel like didn't break the bank obviously yeah not bad um and yeah so i'm excited to see what these are going to look like so we're going to take them home load them up in our backyard and get them ready for the landscapers to put them in their rightful place so we got the bricks and this is what they look like and i think they're definitely the right size so we're going to do about five along each side of the bed so we can at least walk in between them and then we're going to use the remaining bricks to go in between the gravel and in between the grass so this is going to be all grass they got the sprinklers set up and yeah now it's time for the gravel they're going to come in and do the drip system all along the back fence so yesterday we got the bricks down. The landscapers were supposed to deliver the gravel today, but it was pouring rain. So they did, ended up not coming, which is totally fine. So um, they should be doing the gravel next week. And yeah, the backyard is coming along. I'm very excited, um, but I think I'm most excited is to go plant shopping. So stay tuned. I'm gonna take you guys plant shopping with me and we'll have a good time. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.